Hello everyone, how's it going? I'm Mebes and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll talk about the beam analysis where the stresses are elastic and the section is uncracked. Note that I will use the same beam from the previous video of unreinforced concrete beam so that you can compare the results later on. I'll put the link for unreinforced concrete beam analysis in the description. As you see the only difference here is I have added 4, 5, 16 rebars at the bottom of the beam. Now the task is to find maximum W, or in other words, maximum allowable load on the beam. In order to be able to start analysis of the beam, we should convert the steel in this section into concrete. The only way to do this is to remove the steel rebars from the concrete section and add some amount of concrete to achieve the same stiffness. After this conversion we will have a section with uniform material, which is only concrete. So first we have to find the stiffness ratio between the concrete and steel, and we call it N. So N equals to modulus of elasticity of the steel divided by the modulus of elasticity of the concrete, which equals to 200 gigapascals divided by 24.8 gigapascals, and this makes 8. So that means the steel is 8 times stiffer compared to the concrete, or in other words, if we remove the area of the steel, we should add 8 times of the area as concrete. Now imagine this way. If we remove the steel rebars from the concrete, they will leave a hole in the section. And we have 8 parts of concrete. So we will use one part to fill these holes and put the 7 parts at the sides. And we can show it this way. We have the concrete beam. And now the holes are filled and we add two extra parts on the right and the left for the remaining seven parts of the concrete resulting from the steel rebar conversion. Now we can say area converted equals to n minus one area of steel, which equals to eight minus one multiplied by pi over four multiplied by 16 squared for the diameter of the rebar, which equals to 5,630 millimeters square. That means we have 5,630 mm squares of concrete at the right and the left of the concrete section in order to achieve the same stiffness in the case we have the steel rebars there. So dividing on two sides, it means 2,815 mm squares on each side of the beam. Now we have a uniform material shape and we can proceed to find second moment of area and neutral axis of the shape. To do so, y equals to summation of y multiplied by area divided by area. We know that the area of these two rectangular shapes is 5630 mm squared and its height is 16 mm, so we can find the length of these two small rectangular shapes. Dividing the area by 16 mm gives 351.86 mm, which is its total length. Coming back to the equation of second moment of area, the B for that shape now is 351.86 multiplied by h, which is 16 cubed, divided by 12, plus area, 5630, multiplied by 294.3, minus the distance to the center of the rebars, which is 50, and all squared. Finally, i equals to 7.544 times 10 to the power of 9, millimeter to the power of 4. Now, this is the second moment of area for the shape, as you know, f equals to mc over i. So leaving m alone, m equals to f multiplied by i divided by c. f is tensile strength of the concrete in bending. If you want to calculate accurately, then I have provided two ways with ACI code and Euro code in the previous video of unreinforced concrete beams. And you can follow the same procedure to calculate it. 
or you can assume 10 to 15 percent of the concrete compressive strength. I'll use the value which I found in the previous example which is 2.56 multiplied by i 7.544 times 10 to the power of 9 divided by c which is 294.3 and I divide all equation by 10 to the power of 6 for the sake of unit conversion to get it in kilonewton meter instead of newton millimeters. Solving the equation m equals to 65.53 kilonewton meter. Now this is the resistant moment of the concrete section. Now from the moment we can find the maximum permissible load on the beam. m equals to wl squared over 8 for simply supported beams. And leaving w alone, w equals to 8m divided by l squared. So it will be 8 multiplied by 65.53 divided by 4 squared, which is the span of the beam. This equals to 32.77 kilonewton meter. As you know, we should also deduct the self-weight of the beam from this value. So the self-weight of the beam equals to 24 multiplied by 0.4 multiplied by 0.6, which equals to 5.65 kilonewton per meter. Now we can say maximum permissible load on the beam equals to 32.77 minus 5.65, which makes 27.12 kN per meter. So the W here equals to 27.12 kN per meter. If you have already watched the previous video about unreinforced concrete beam, you can notice there is a little improvement when we add 4 rebars at the bottom of the beam. This is because of we have assumed the stresses are elastic and the section is uncracked. I'll make further analysis for the same section but in different methods. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and share my videos and subscribe my channel. See you in the next video.